Greetings, pod fans. So I have had just a doozy of a week. Starting with last Wednesday, because I went up to Dublin for a great event. Going to the zoo with the lads. And there I saw my favourite zoo-dwelling animal, duckies. I love duckies! Look at them! Just being there and being awesome! And also after that we went to ACDC or something, and no. <laughs> then the weekend just passed on Saturday, which was the 4th of July, I went to... That wedding that I mentioned in my previous video. Which was a lot of fun, but I realized one thing. Okay, so I got a grey suit and I wore a black shirt. And because of the black shirt, I assumed, you know, I can dance as hard as I want and sweat marks will not be an issue. In the middle of the night, I looked down and found something that I had never seen before and everyone around had never seen before. I had sweat marks on my knees. For those of you who don't know, that's not something that should be happening. And everyone I've told since has been like, but that's, that's not possible. That's not, that's not possible. And well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that it is. It was just like these weird circular, almost, well, you know, it was just like wet patches where my knees are. And the only explanation I can think of is when I dance, there's a lot of knees. It's a lot of like legs everywhere, kind of a, you know, pointing my knees in different directions. So I assume that's how it happened, but it was kind of embarrassing, but I didn't really care because then the DJ played like three ACDC songs and all of my cousins were incredibly confused by me going full Angus Young um, air guitar-ing, you know, the whole goose step and the, it's not the goose step, what is it, like the, you know, the hopping on one leg, I can't remember what it's called, but also just the stamping and the... It, it was a good time. I probably made a fool of myself, but that's my job. It was also just really cool hanging out with my family. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm really bad at that. Uh, so it was kind of cool. And we had that moment, you know, where you're all suited and booted and on the way to a wedding. So you have a hashtag that moment when the squad is on point. So you are in a car, so you take a selfie in the car of you. Like this. <laughs> It was a really good day. I really enjoyed it. And I got to hang out with, like, my cousins and things that I rarely do because they live many miles away and I live here. Um, also, I actually have to get a new headset. Totally, like, changing this. It's the HyperX Cloud 2. And it's actually really good. And for the past couple of years, I've been using the uh, Astro A40, uh, the one with the mix amp. Mix up is there. Uh, I don't know where the actual headphones are. But yeah, that belonged to my brother and... Um, he basically let me have it because there were problems hooking it up to his Xbox and his headset broke. So then he was like, can I have that back please? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I got this and it's actually really cool. Um, it comes with two um, like squishy bits, like spare squishy bits. Um, I had to change them because the other ones are like almost plastic leathery and uh, I was having trouble like hearing myself when I spoke. So. That was confusing me because I was like, I'm probably speaking too loud right now. Ah, it's yeah, but these are actually like incredibly comfortable and the sound is quite good. And you've got this thing for changing um, the headphones and the the mic sound. So yeah, um, it's they're like less than 100 euro. So if you're looking for a good PC slash anything else headset, I'd recommend it. It it's working really really well also they've got pink and white but i decided that i'm too much of a man to, to go for that Ooh. anything else happened in the past week uh, no probably not i got a really cool um legend of zelda hoodie when i was up in dublin it's upstairs though it's incredibly comfortable and it's got like you know with the assassin's creed hoodies where they've got like the point on the hood it's got one of those and it has like the mark of hyrule and the triforce on it it's really cool it's it's nice i like it a lot and i've gotten compliments for it so that's that's good oh wait oh yeah this <laughs> <laughs> i may have mentioned it before but i kickstarted a smartwatch uh the pebble time it was like i'll probably do a video where i talk about it a lot more because this has been going on for quite a while and i have work in a while so i mightn't be able to edit this in time but who cares um I got the Pebble Time. It's really nice. It's like, you know, it does everything that you want a smartwatch to do without going overboard. And it's very 
the way I think of it, it's, you know, as if there was a Linux smartwatch. It's, it's a lot like, you know, what you want to do with it. It's very aimed at, like, developers, and developers can, you know, make whatever the hell they want, like watch faces, apps, blah, blah, blah. It's just right there, and uh, it's kind of, like, limited, so a lot of the stuff is very, like, ingenuitive and stuff like that, so it's cool. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'll probably make a video where I talk about it a bit more, because that was a horrible review. But yeah, um, that's all I've got to talk to uh, you about for now. I'll talk to you soon, Sloan.